Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a freaking awesome whiskey hunting week. But before we get into that, please do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. That helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate the support. But let's get into today's video. So, this is basically about a week's worth of whiskey hunting. You know, I don't go out hunting that much. I kind of selectively hunt. And, you know, I don't buy a lot of whiskey anymore either. But, you know, I kind of sent it over a week and I kind of wanted to do video recapping those. And I will also put one extra one on this list that I didn't buy, but I just want to talk some mad crap about. Woodford Masters Collection 2023. What the heck? What, what are those prices? So I'll, I'll be honest. Um, I went to a Total Wine. I found it there. One, it's a 700 milliliter now, so that's kind of BS. And two, it went from 120 last year to now 165 or something like that. And that's at Total Wine. And Total Wine has like the best non-allocated prices. Like I... I shit my pants when I saw that. I like went running over there and I was like, yes, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy. And then I saw the price tag and I was like, ooh, ooh, I think, I think the whiskey hunting game has gotten a little bit too rich for my blood nowadays. That being said, I did pick up some pretty, pretty cool whiskeys. Uh, I haven't really gotten too deep into a lot of them, but you know, let's just get right into it. Starting off with, first of all, Maker's Mark, whatever this thing is, Generations of Proof. This is a three bottle pack that I've been looking at for a while. This has been sitting on the Costco shelves in my area for, I'm just going to hold it on my shoulder like this. Uh, it's been sitting on the Costco shelves for a few months now, and I've been looking at it. I've been thinking about it, and I've been, mm, it's a good price. I was like, ooh, for 75 bucks, that's a good deal. I really like the Stave Collection finishings. Uh... They cut it down to $49.99 in my area. So I threw my credit card at it. And not going to lie, I freaking loved these. These were all really, really good. I have yet to find a master's, not a master's collection. I'm still thinking about Woodford. And that's how triggered about it I am. I have yet to have like one of the stave finishing profiles for makers that I don't like. Like all of these are really, really good. Again, I haven't really gotten into them more than that one live stream I kind of reviewed them at, but I was really, really impressed. The next one I'm just mostly excited about. Um, Rare Breed Non-Chill Filtered. So one of y'all got this bottle for me and I'm super thankful for it. My viewers, um, again, I don't know if I can say his name or not, so I'm not going to do it, but uh, they went traveling. They picked me up a bottle of it, and it's freaking awesome. That is such, it's it's the pinnacle of rare breed. That being said, instead of being a 750, it's a liter, and it's also $35 compared to like the $55, $60 rare breed normally is. So it's cheaper. You get more whiskey. Take notes, Woodford. You're freaking ruining it. Um, cheaper, you get more whiskey. Uh, and it's significantly better. Sorry, I lost my train of thoughts with bashing on Woodford. Because come on, what is this trend with releasing everything with 700 milliliters? Like, it's bullshit. It is such... It's it's BS, you know? Like, it's... What, how are you... It's shrinkflation. I... Peace. Let's move on to the next one. Doc Swinson's seasons blend so this is actually a new release from one of my beloved brands i love doc swinson's i think they do really really fantastic mgp blending and for the longest time i've always been like hey some of the best value in sub 50 dollars has been the doc swinson's blenders cut master blenders cut whatever it's called uh, it's like 115 proof five-year-old release this is basically the same thing. Uh, it's called Season Blend, but it's a 90 proof version of their basically five-year-old blend. And I'm not gonna lie, with it still being kind of on the summer or the coattails of summer, I mean, again, I've only had like one drink, but this probably won't last very long. And on top of that, this bottle is only like $32. So it's an absolute freaking steal at that price point, 90 proof 
well blended five year old MGP. Again, not the most insane complexity like uh, their Blender's Cut, but it's really, really well done for that price point. Again, I don't think anyone is blending at the same level Doc Swenson's currently is. And that, take it as you will, I'm kind of turned into a little bit of a fanboy for them, but I'm blown away by how good that is. And I don't normally like 90 proofers, but let's get into the next one. Speaking of bottles that I'm pissed off about, this is a 700, right? Yeah, 700 milliliter. I mean, I like the I like the whiskey inside. I'll be honest. This is a really good rye. It's like another thirty-two dollar release or thirty-four something like that. It's their bonded rye, and not gonna lie, Jack Daniels, you knocked this one out of the park. This is fantastic. It's nutty, has a little bit of a banana-y brown foreman thing going on, but then it has a spiciness. Actually, wait, Woodford. Is it Brown Foreman that's trying to cut everything down to 700? Sorry, while filming this video, I'm just putting puzzle pieces together. I'm like freaking Charlie from Always Sunny, just connecting the dots. Brown Foreman, don't you do me dirty like that. Don't you, don't you touch my old Forester. Either which way, I really, really like this stuff. This is really, really good. I like the spice that I get off of it. Again, as you can tell, like I literally did one pull out of the bottle. Again, I got this like a few days ago, so it's been about one week worth of, you know, getting in. I don't drink that much in one week, so we haven't gotten a lot of things. But speaking of that, other ryes, Castle and Key Restoration Rye. Another rye that I've been kind of thinking about for a while, and not gonna lie, I've heard some bad stuff about this. But again, I took like one pull out of it, so I haven't reviewed it. Stay tuned. All of these bottles I'm going to review at one point or the other. I actually already did a review of the Maker's Mark, um, but outside of that, oh, and a sample of the Rare Breed. But outside of that, like all these other ones, they need reviews. Uh, but this is 53% and I kind of liked it. It's spicy. It's herbal. It's, it's a freaking rye. It's $50 rye. Decent proof, um, a little bit on the younger side, but like nothing like crazy. And so honestly, I've heard people say a lot of negative stuff about the Castle Key, like old Taylor distillery, but I kind of like it. Again, review coming in, so we'll see what my initial review is. But yeah, I got that one for about, I think it was like $53 or something like that. And the last one, I'll be honest, I didn't buy. Uh, they sent it to me, but I also received it the same week that I got all these other bottles. This is Westward American Single Malt. This is their Ken's Artisan Sourdough Vintage Blend. So this is uh, one of the club releases from them. And this is basically an experiment of using a different dough yeast. It's like a sourdough yeast instead of their typical yeast. Uh, again, only really took one pull out of it. I haven't reviewed it or got super nerdy or crazy about any of these, but man, I like it. I, although, take it as you will, I've never not liked anything that Westward has made, sent me, the ones I've bought. Like, I haven't not liked a single one of them, so if you ever thought I was going to say, hey, this is bad, you probably are betting on the wrong track. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing this, the two Rise, and that Doc Swinson's here in the future uh, because, you know, I got them all for a relatively good deal, especially the Westward. I mean, it was free, you know, but I'm not going to let that get in the way of my review. But this was basically my whiskey haul over the last week. These were the bottles I got over the last week from kind of doing a, we'll call it a budget hunt. A poor man's hunt, a whiskey hunt for someone who just wants to try new things but doesn't want to buy all those rare, limited, allocated bottles that are significantly more money than they should be nowadays. This is my hunt. Uh, I enjoyed this. I've so far enjoyed all these bottles, but you know, again, stay tuned for reviews to see a more in depth opinion than I can voice currently. But that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Also check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Uh, links for all that stuff are down there below. Also let me know what has been something you've been hunting or something you've gotten recently. Let me know down below. But again, that is a wrap. Cheers y'all. We'll see you later.